Hello saxophones and welcome to your first guided music practice video. Hopefully you all remember that my name is Miss Ryan and today we are going to be revising our F major scale key signature. So our F major key signature. We are also going to be revising our chromatic patterns and we are going to be revising our dotted crotchet rhythm. You'll be successful when you can Accurately identify the B flats and play them confidently. So play them exactly when you see them on the page. You'll be successful when you can accurately play the correct chromatic patterns and identify the notes in exercise 53. Um, you will be successful when you can accurately play the dotted crotchet rhythm and that means count it in your head while you play. So you're going, for example, D dot E E in exercise 50, just like that, D dot E E. If you can do that in your head while you play, you will be successful. And in exercise 54, when you can play your new high note B, which we will get to in a moment. All right, so let's start with exercise 51, not exercise 50. In exercise 51, you will notice that there is a certain type of key signature. So at the beginning of your music, before your time signature, there is a flat at the beginning of your music. What flat do you have to remember to play? Hopefully you said B flat. Now remember, there are two ways you can play, well, there are three ways, but two ways that we're going to be playing B flat. Either this way, so it's an A with your bottom side key, or your B with a bisque key on the front. Remember, if you're playing this one, your fingers can stay there for all the other notes. So they are your two options. I don't mind which one you use, as long as you use one of them. So B flats, let's play a B flat right now. And the other one. And back to the northern one. And back to the other one. So they sound exactly the same, and it's up to you which one you use. Now let's go from the beginning. We have F, G, A, then we have B flat, C. Can you go through and point out all of the B flats in exercise 51? How many can you see? I can see five B flats. Now let's see if we can do the fingers and sing from the beginning. Three and F, G, A, B flat, C, F, A, C, G, A, B flat, C, D, G, B flat, D, A, B flat, C, D, E, A, C, E, B flat, C, D, E, F, F. Now let's do it again, this time with the other B flat fingering. F, G, A, B flat, C, F, A, C, G, A, B flat, C, D, G, B flat, D, A, B flat, C, D, E, A, C, E, B flat, C, D, E, F, F. Now let's go from the beginning and see if we can play just the first two bars. Three, four. Let's do it again. This time I'll count in the right amount. One, two, three. play the next two bars on your own. So pause here and play the next two bars. Now let's check them. So bar three and four, two, three. Now let's see if we can do the next four bars on our own. Pause here. Now it's our turn. Let's do it together. Three, Four. Pause and practice the whole thing on your own. Now let's go from the beginning all 
both together with Smart Music. Pause and practice that as many times as you need to until it feels easy and you're confidently playing your B flats. So that means every time you see it, your finger's going exactly where it needs to go, right when you tell it to. So exercise 53, have an era. We're making sure we get those chromatic patterns right. So let's say the first notes in the first four bars. So we start with A, then we have G sharp, then we have G, another G, and another G, then we have F sharp, then we have F and then we have E. We will learn a different fingering for that F sharp later. For now, F sharp and then F. So let's go beginning again. A, G sharp, G, G, F sharp, F, E. Actually, we've already learnt that F sharp fingering, our alternate F sharp fingering. We've learnt that one, so we're gonna use it here. A. G sharp, G, G, G alternate, F, E. And again, A, G sharp, G, G, G alternate, F, E. Pause here and see if you can play that on your own. Now let's do the next four bars. The notes are D sharp, D, C, B, C, D, C, B. Pause and practice that at least three times on your own. Now see if you can go from the beginning all the way to the end of the first line without me. Pause here. Now let's do it from the beginning with me. One, two. <laughs> pattern. Where is the chromatic pattern? Hopefully you said it's in the first five bars because it's A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, D sharp, D. After the D we then skip one of the chromatic notes and we go to a C. Now see if you can work out how to play the second line on your own. Pause it here. Once you've done that let's do the whole thing together. times on your own. How did you go with your chromatic patterns? Now, awesome, let's go to exercise 50 and we're getting our heads back into the key of G major with our F sharps as you can see by the beginning of our music. And we're going to sing and do the fingers from the beginning. Three, four, D dot E, E, D, C, B, 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 C, C, D, E, E, D, C, B, D, C, B, A, G, 2. Now we're going to stop there and we're going to do it in smaller sections to make sure that we get it. So just the first bar. D dot E, E, D, C, B, B, B. And again. D dot E, E, D, C, B, B. And one last time. D dot E, E, D, C, B, B. Now see if you can do the next bar on your own. 
Now let's join those two bars together. D dot E, E, D, C, B, 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 C. Cool. Now let's say it with the dot in our head. So we're going to say all the notes as usual, but dot is going to be in our head like this. D, E, 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 D, C, B, 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 C. Did you remember to say dot in your head? Try it one more time. D, E, 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 D, C, B, 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 C. Now the next bit. C, D, E, E, D, C, B, D, C, B, A, G. Now the trickiest bit in those two bars is the fact that we have to repeat that E. So let's do it again and be really careful that you remember to do it twice. C, D, E, E, D, C, B, D, C, B, A, G, two. Now let's go back to the beginning and see if we can play just those four bars, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> sure that this time you do all the correct tonguing and you're saying the dot in your head while you play. Pause it here and practice it on your own. Now let's go from the beginning and play it one more time. Just the first line. Three, four. <laughs> in your head and do the articulation as written. Now look at the second line. See if you can say the first two bars without me. Pause it here. Now let's check it. Ready? And G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E, D, D, C, B. Is that what your sounded like? If not, say it three more times with me. Rewind and do it again. If it was perfect, awesome. Let's say the next two bars. Everyone together and A, B, C, D, E, C, A, G, B, A, G, B, D. And again, those two bars. A, B, C, D, E, C, A, G, B, A, G, B, D. Now let's do the whole last line together. Ready? And G dot F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E dot D, D, C, B, A, B, C, D, E, C, A, G, B, A, G, repeat. B, D, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E dot D, D, C, B, a, B, C, D, E, C, A, G, B, A, G. Now let's see if we can play it together. The second line. Three, four. <laughs> from the beginning to the end with smart music.
some things that I could have done better. So let's see if you know what things you could have done better. Pause it here and practice it two more times, making sure that you improve it every single time. Now let's learn our new note, our high B. So open up to exercise 54 and let's look at what the high B looks like. So our high B is this one here. So we already know this is G and this is A. So B is just one note higher and all you have to do is lift up one more finger. So it's just this with our octave key on the back. G, A, B, then it's G dot A, F. Remember, we've got another chance to practice our dotted note here. G, A, B, G, A, D. See if you can play just those two bars on your own. Pause it here now. Once you've done that, see if you can sing and do the fingers for the rest of the piece on your own. Now let's check how you went singing and fingers the whole way through. Ready? And G, A, B, G, A, D, G, A, B, A, G. Rest. B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, G dot A, B, A, G, two, three, rest. Remember, your thumb has to be on for the whole piece, our register key, because everything is a D or higher. So make sure your register key is on, and let's go from the beginning, playing the whole way through. Remember to count that dot. times on your own, making sure that every single time that you improve it in some small way. Let's reflect on today's practice. How successful were you at playing your B flats accurately when you saw them, your high Bs, your dotted crotchets, and your chromatic pattern? Give yourself a score out of 10 and think about how you can improve it in your coming up practice, in your practice coming up. Keep up with good work and keep practicing and see how far you can get over the next two pages. Happy practicing.